cards in your kit have been pre-scored for you. And if you notice, one side has an indentation on the score and the other side has a bump. The correct way to fold them is actually toward the bump. So we're going to simply fold along the first score and use our bone folder to make a nice sharp crease. And then we're going to fold along the next score in the same direction and do the same thing. Now this is called a mountain fold because you can see it has the shape of a mountain and both of them are that way. If I'd done it the opposite direction, it would be a valley fold. But these are both mountain folds. You may want to make note of the card dimensions and the placement of the scores so you can make more easel cards in the future. You can see how this will create an easel, but it needs something on the inside of the card to hold it in place. And we will be doing that as we create this card. Now we can adhere our glittered stamped image to the easel card. Only apply adhesive to the bottom section of the card. Otherwise, it won't open correctly. And center it the way that you would like. And then test to make sure you didn't put adhesive where it doesn't belong on the back. Now we're ready to apply a five and a half inch piece of metallic ribbon. And you can decide where you would like to put this. If you put it closer to the center of the fold, it will hold the card at a um, almost straight up. If you put it farther down, it will have more of a slant. So you can just do it uh, whatever your preference is for each particular card.